team, welcome and have you met Ted? And no, I'm not talking about uh, the show, How I Met Your Mother. I'm talking about TED Talks, uh, technology, entertainment, and design. What is a TED Talk? Basically, it is when you get a talented, um, knowledgeable person and have them teach something they know. And TED, I guess, is the most famous brand for this, this type of education. Um, but we, what we're talking about is a condensed class about a topic. Um, some are 5, 10 minutes, 15. The, the longest one I've seen was maybe 20. And they have topics that can interest any human being on this planet. Whatever it is that you like, somebody is there um, teaching something interesting about it. And I'm also going to be introducing your test for the for the end of the season. And you can kind of already guess what the theme might be. Uh, but let me introduce you to Ted, just in case you haven't met him. So your warm-up is to watch a TED Talk. You can pick one that you have on your watch list. But I recommended three. This is one of my favorite. One of my favorites now. This is my favorite TED Talk. The Magical Art of Storytelling, and it talks about the, the neuroscience behind how to get people to listen to you, and it is fascinating. So this is one that I, I can't think of a person who would not benefit from this. The Magical Art of Storytelling, that is uh, my recommendation. This one I saw, I really liked it. I have never met somebody who did not suffer from procrastination to some degree or another. Um, so, so this is a, a very metaphorical, um, visually uh, acceptable way of looking at this topic. So it's another recommendation. But if you don't have much time, this is something quick. It's about the value of just changing something. 30 days. Stop doing something. Do something different. And 30 days does not mean the rest of your life. But try it out. You will see the benefits. You will remember it no matter what. And our first um, objective, our first activity, is to talk about public speaking. And I would like to hear your thoughts. Uh, it is considered one of the scariest things on the planet. People have said that it is scarier than, well, they had to say what the scariest thing on the planet was, and they rated this above you know, snakes, uh, death, um, uh, all of these other crazy, um, scary things. And people were there, yeah, public speaking, not doing that as the worst and so much of what we do is not public speaking in person but it is a even greater public speaking depending on your reach and i have some questions about it a is it an important skill do you think it should be taught in school some what are some of the benefits uh, why are people so scared of this and is speaking into the camera, speaking into this square, the same as speaking in public. Um, some questions for you to think about, for you to ponder. And a dad joke. I'm going to be including these dad jokes in the PDF. What do you call a hippie's wife? Answer at the bottom. And now, what makes a TED Talk great? I found this article that I enjoyed where they explain it in seven steps. But I've simplified it to choose a topic, craft a message for that topic. Um, how do you want to, to transmit this? It should be clear. It should be concise. Um, define a takeaway. What is a takeaway? What the person remembers uh, from, in this case, a talk. But it could be the takeaway from a movie. It could be the takeaway from a class. Is what the person brings home with them. Last up, prepare your story. All good TED Talks, they have some form of story. It's not just um, just facts. You need to have that story to make it more um, accessible, more digestible for, for the, the human brain. And you know, we, we like stories. Um, any, any religion um, that you know of will be transmitted in story form. The way you see your life is through stories. So it's one of the most important 
if not the most important tool for communication is telling a story that the person goes, ah, you know, and they, they're able to acquire that mental image. And let me pick one of these questions to answer. Hmm. All right, so good. Are you good at giving advice? I don't know, um, but I, I'm going to say yes because I, I do end up giving advice sometimes um, in my classes. And what is some advice I've given multiple times? Um, I'm going to go with one that I have given recently multiple times, which is the difference between the best reason for not doing something and the worst excuse for not having done something is just perspective. Um, the job wasn't done. So if it's important to you, go find a way to do it. And that is the, the advice that I have given a few times and um, works for me. So uh, maybe it'll work for you. And last up, your TED. So we are here in the middle of the season. We've just crossed the, the halfway point. And your challenge this season will be to give a TED talk. And there is no uh, fixed category for what you need to talk about. It does not have to be technology, education, and design, but that kind of does include almost everything. But pick something that you know, something that is important to you. You might ask a, a friend or family member, you know, what is something that I have said that you think is important, that you think is relevant? And start with that message. From there, find a story that exemplifies it. And um, you know, what can the person take away and what can they do with this? What is some actionable uh, course that they can take um, from the information you have given them? And you still have a couple of weeks, but I want you to start thinking about this now. I will mention this over the next few classes. Uh, don't wait for the last minute to get everything done. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a TED Talk explaining why you should not do that right up here. But um, team, that's it. I have some extra TED Talks right here my students recommended. And remember, what um, was the, the hippie's wife called? She was Mississippi. Oh, oh, oh. And I will leave you with that. And team, thank you. And I will see you in class.